and uh, there's a look at Bradley courtside joining us here in uh, Las Vegas and we're joined now by the head coach Scotty Brooks uh, Scott uh, what do you make of where you guys are right now when, when we take a look at your roster and uh, John's out for the foreseeable near future uh, how do you make how do you make things work here? Well, well, we definitely have a new team. Right. I'm just glad we don't have a new coach. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You'll be here all week. <laughs> right? Uh, you, you know what? We drafted Rui, who I, I love. I love yeah. I love his professionalism. He, right. he just comes to work every day. He's had some great practices. Uh, he's solid. He's not looking to uh, do things that are not within his game. And he's a young player that's going to continue to improve. And we drafted Admiral is another aggressive uh, young player, but I like the energy. I like the enthusiasm. We're going a different route. You know, it's, it's about it's about developing and getting better day by day. Uh, I've been in that situation before. Uh, Brad has been on board and it's been great. Uh, obviously, John is out. Uh, has mm -hmm. changed a lot of things around our organization, but I think um, what we're doing, Tommy has done a great job of revamping it in the last couple of months. I uh, got guys from. Uh Winning programs, yes. Uh, you know Tennessee, Gonzaga. Was that something of a concerted effort by by Tommy and yourself and the Brain Trust? Yeah, winning winning programs, great coaches, um, guys that uh, players that we believe in, players that we feel like they're going to continue to get better because their character is high, and their their work ethic's great, their enthusiasm for the game. They're not satisfied. They're hungry. They got something to prove. And I think that's what we're that's what we're looking for, and the, and the group of guys that we've had and I've seen, you know, the last couple of days in our, our mini camp has been terrific. Their energy and their, their just their love to, for the game. I, you can never go wrong with enough guys right. that just love to play the game the right way. I want to go back to Rui just because he only took about I think 76 threes uh, during his three years at Gonzaga, and he you touched on he doesn't want to be given anything. And Chauncey actually described him on draft night as comparable to a young Kawhi. Where does he fit? What are his best attributes as he comes in? I mean, th there's definitely some some comparisons. You hate to say, you know, it is, you're talking about one of the best players in the game. But uh, the demeanor, his demeanor has just been terrific. You don't know if he had a great play or if he had a bad play. He just plays the game the same way. The thing that I love about him, I love the, I love his passion for the game. And there you go, up right top, on, right on point. He's a very high IQ basketball player. He, he, he really understands the uh, team. Uh, he's been, like I said, he's been with a great program. Coach Few has done a great job of developing all their players and their, their system. And I, I just love how he interacts with the, the, his teammates. Showing a lot of bounce on this play too, huh? I like it. <laughs> Hachimura with an impressive finish. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about your, your guard situation with some of the movement in free agency Scott you guys lost uh, Sadoransky who ended up signing with the Chicago Bulls uh, how much opportunity is there now for that vacancy to be filled in the backcourt here well we have openings we have spots we have minutes to be had we did sign Ish Smith and Isaiah uh, IT uh, which is going to be great for both for, for us uh, they're two great, really good players that are going to compete for for minutes uh, and but we have openings we have spots available so guys this summer league has been great for a lot of guys are one opportunities and I, I love this time of the year I love it I was in this position you know 30 30 years ago and I, I, I take it I take it serious I, I know the all these guys they're they're playing for their lives and they're playing for their dream and and as coaches as players we want to give everybody a chance to fulfill it Dawkins just missing a highlight dunk yeah, Brown well, meanwhile the other end oh, Brown's done some nice things for you tonight. Yeah, he's he's solid. The crazy thing is, this is the second year he's 19 years old. Yes, uh, it's like amazing. Is it, but he, I, I, I like his maturity, and that's it's, it's really weird to say that 19 years old. Yes. Right? but he plays with this. Uh, he plays with the pace. Uh, that's really good, and I think he's going to get better as the, as this season as this summer goes on. He works hard. He's another great kid uh, in our program, so we're we're happy to have him. Scott, I, I, just more generic, and, and you've been coaching the league a long time. You've coached some of the best in Russell and, and Kevin Durant. Like as you watch this player movement in the offseason, you're, you're a head coach. You're going to have to coach against. What's your like? What do you think? Is there a fan part that's that can fit into being a head coach? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of the game. I love the game. Last night was last night was very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we got to go to break. We're going to get those thoughts on the other side yeah. from Scotty Brooks. But yeah. 
That means you were awake at 1 a.m. or whatever time it broke yeah, on the East yeah, Coast. Yeah, yes, I was. <laughs>
ready to play. And then when he's ready to play, we might give him a few more weeks off. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's always about the players. And, you know, John is doing his part. He's working every day, and I get the videos every day. I get the report every day, and I watch it. I look forward to see his improvement. And I see it every day, and it's, 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 it, the challenge is going to be ahead of him. But he's, he's looking forward to that every day, and he's tackling it every day. In the meantime, you've got Isaiah Thomas, who I feel like everybody in the league is pulling for him. He, you know, just 2017, nice pass ahead. Yeah. It's 2017, he's an MVP candidate. And 53 points against us also, right? You remember, right. You remember that, right? <laughs> so where is he? Have you had an opportunity? to see what he's been up to where can you give us anything on Isaiah I met with him last week I love him I love I love I love his story I love I love the fact that he was the 60th pick he, we all know that he's not a 60th pick that's right he's a top player in this league um, and I, I want to be a part of his recovery I want to be, be a part of it I, I love it I can't wait to coach him I can't wait to uh, get him better and and help us um, get better as a group he's his leadership his professionalism uh, is going to be, we need it, and his ability to make plays. You know, he hasn't played in the last couple of years, and for whatever reasons, and you know, we're, he's going to get plenty of opportunities with us. Oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Hey, Scotty, we want to thank you for joining us, and, and good luck next year. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it, guys. Always, Thanks for dropping by, you guys. Thank yes. you, Scott. Anytime. Scott Brooks, head coach of the Washington Wizards. A lot of uh, injuries a season ago, and didn't make it to the postseason. One of the class guys yes. in the league, you know, yes. tough times. You know, think about Scott Brooks and his initial coaching opportunity as a head coach, Oklahoma City. Okay. Extended losing with young Kevin Durant, young Russell Westbrook, and he guides them through that, goes to an NBA Finals. You think their window is going 